Hey everybody, it's me, Devious Toaster, and welcome back to Lethe. Uh, good. Great. I remember this. I remember I was in a not good place. I was in a scary... There was a scary man ahead. But that's where we had to go next. Gotta do it quicker. Quicker than we'd like. There's gotta be a way to get out of here. There's gotta be a way to go. There's gotta be something. Damn it. Alright, well, let's see if there's this monster thing that's gonna come after us now. Yeah, there is. Yeah, no thanks. Bye-bye. Am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. I don't want to have to deal with this guy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Not today. I go this way. Thank you. I don't know where this monster is or if it can come through the the air ducts or not. I don't... I, I'd imagine not. I would imagine that it cannot go this way. So. Upon experimentation with the blue concoction that I will call the Taum, the rat's cognitive abilities have greatly improved in a short amount of time, way beyond their natural boundaries. How do you know? Just cheese mazes? For now, the effect seems to be temporary, but promising nonetheless. I cannot wait to replicate the results with human subjects. You're an asshole, doctor. Oh, good. Yum yums. Mm, delicious. Is that, is that something the rats made? Is that their cognitive ability now? Good old home cooking? No. No, thank you. Oh, you bear trap bastard. Can't fool me. You're damn right you can't. Come on. I know that you gotta go away. I need another one of those. Demetrius, you jerk! I know it was you who stole my sandwiches last week. I will get back to you, and you'll be sorry for it. P.S. How's the missus? I don't care about Demetrius. I just want to get out. Maintenance has been postponed time and time again. It's long overdue as usual. Now they tell me required parts aren't available with the shipments not arriving scheduled. Required overhauls are out of the question. Sincerely doubt they will arrive in a respectable amount of time, so please make do with what we have. Use the override. It's that simple. Okay. So don't forget to set the pressure just right. Half should do. What's the... What did I put the pressure at? I guess not. Sin of a bitch. Oh, don't you dare tell me that I gotta go back and get something else. Ah! I just tried to pull it to me! Is there no shiny? I need to go get a shiny! And that big bastard's out there! Damn it! No monsters. Please. Fuck me. Just no. Not fair. No! Well, I need to get past him. I just need to figure out how. No, 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 you don't. Uh uh. No, go away. No! No! What the fuck? Not fair! Jesus Christ, that scared me! Go away! Go away! It 
Better just let me go this way now. Which way am I supposed to go? I hate this. I do not like this at all. Okay. There we go. No more monster, please. Okay, it's not necessary. There. Okay. Okay. That monster was a dick. Didn't need to be there. Didn't need to be an asshole, but he was. Okay. Let's plug this bitch in. Get that flowing. Get you to about half pressure. say it said half good okay there we go good that's right grand wonderful I did it now we're on the move can I leave now can I go home I'm ready to go home now wasn't this where I went before yeah so was that just to turn on the power that's right, the elevator was up here. Out of my way, Jug. Damn it! Aha! There we go. Is this outside? Have I done it? Nope. Ran up and clubbed me, didn't it? I wonder what kind of horrid experiment took place here. My mother, could she still be alive? Somewhere on this island? I doubt it after all that I've seen. This all feels so strangely familiar. Why am I being chased? Who are they? I bet they carry many of the answers I seek. If only insanity had not claimed them first. Do you know these people on this island? I, did, I thought you were just exploring. I didn't think you came from here. Oh, good. Well, at least I didn't die. Cool. Thanks for the room. How much do I owe you? Holiday Inn has really gotten uh, low quality. Oh, no. You know. So intent was on cutting off the child's limbs that she didn't notice her victim was long dead. She pierced what remained of the body with the blade that was crudely attached to her wrist. Placing what was once her soft and caring hand. The dirty sack on her head covered her face, but could not mask her anger. What a sight she was to behold standing among her young victims, her torn clothes drenched in blood, their soft skulls cracking open under the weight of her boots as she walked towards me. The sound well known to us both, a real monster, yet she is better off a monster than a coward like me. It's been 32 years since that faithful event, and I haven't left her side ever since. Why? Why would... That's disgusting. Well. I got magic. Do you guys have magic in here? Because I'm magic. Why am I here? Why won't you just let me go home? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I have some food now. I've already got enough of that. So let me do that. Yum yum. Beef beef. My precious room is gone. It has been taken from me. I knew every single stone by name. And now all of my beloved friends are gone. Today will once again be the first. Is this another test, I wonder? I suspect the guards know, but they never speak. The footsteps tell their stories, but I need more practice. I haven't noticed yet, but I have. Something feels different in this cell. 
We've been transferred, no doubt, but there's something else, too. Okay, so someone... Someone was so intent on knowing their surroundings, they knew everything in their cell, they knew the sounds of the guards, and who was the guard just by the footsteps. That's creepy. Hello? It wasn't me. It was not necessary to blow that out. Alright, I'm just gonna go over here, huh? How about that? Anyone else go? Damn it! Watch it! They have eyes that pierce this flesh of mine from every corner of this room. Do they think I cannot see? They're wrong! No, no, no moaning, okay? That's not necessary. Out of the way. I'm not going the other way because there was like food and stuff down there and I'm not... It's too easy. It's too easy. I'm not... I'm not dealing with that bullshit that's clearly the way they want to scare me with something or chase me. One day, the boon came to me at last. A fresh bed with white clean sheets. I felt so light, almost as if I were flying. At last, my transformation is complete. In a bed? Two, you got a bed and that was transformation? To bed user? Hello? There's too many flies in here. It is not necessary. The smell of burning incense made my blood run cold. I could hear two or three men laughing and cursing. I worried less about the first two, but Jacob? I had seen him hunting prey, ripping off limbs with his bare hands as if he was drawing pleasure from it. I walked around the house, following the sounds from their footsteps. Peeking over the edge of the kitchen window, I thought I could trick them somehow, perhaps make some noise and lead them to the front door, so she could jump through the window and escape. But I was too late. Why are you talking like this? What is all this about? Okay, does this open that? I don't know. Damn it! You're wasting my stuff here. God damn it! Can I burn that down, please? Okay, so it works that time, huh? Just screw you too, game. All right, I guess I gotta go down in the pit. We shit water. Silently swimming. Oh no, nope, there we go. Okay, well now I need some more of these things. At least one more. It'd be nice, but wow. Okay, away we go. Did I do it? Am I safe now? Am I all happy, happy time? Doesn't look like it. What's this one? We have been cast into eternal darkness, for it is our fate to carry this burden. Shadows grow in our finite minds, haunted by our guilt, and yet we chant with heavy breaths. The fabric of this life, of life being stretched out far and wide from this place, weeping of its treads, piercing my ears right before they break into a thousand stars. This is fucking blah 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 blah. Crazy, crazy people talking crazy nonsense. Big ol' fire, but I can see sunlight. By God. And there's roots. Trees are close. Why is there so much fire? She sat on her favorite chair as one of the men kept twisting her arm almost as if it looked as if he was enjoying her screams and it looked like he wanted more. Jacob pushed her head down firmly on the table and ordered the third man to pull out the last of the boxes of incense. Couldn't really tell if they used it for their ritual or just to mask their own stench. He grabbed her hair and pulled her head back up and said, almost whispering, it's time. I could see that she tried hard to hold it in, but the awful smell was the final drop. Nausea took over her body and fluid sprung out of her mouth and nose. With each cough, she struggled for air. Then finally, finally, he violently smashed her face into the table twice. No human being should be capable of committing such an atrocious act, yet that was exactly what I had witnessed. An otherworldly scream escaped her crimson lips while he was holding the back of her neck like a captured animal. Jesus, so they tortured a woman for what? Not exactly sure where this is supposed to go. But it's obviously burnable for a reason. Yeah, I think it goes in there. 
pretty sure that's where it's supposed to go. I heard more screaming. Okay. Ow! Stay there. Okay, more power juice. Gotta use some anyway. Oh, I hate things that are in my way. Out of my way. Where am I? I just want to go home like I said before. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's a safe spot. Yes, I see you, safe spot. I will try for you, safe spot. First, I have to go this way. This thing will move. Bear trap's in my way. Bear trap. I can see that. I need that. I always need those. These are always needed. Aha! Bang! There's a rumble dumbles everywhere, man. Jeez. Yum! Now I got power going. Ooh, no. Here we go. No, no. First, you asshole. I was naive back then. Her husband Jacob was ferocious beyond compare, but foolish. As I was... I kept pushing my luck. The man was of great influence on the village. Silent whispers described him as a merciless man. We had no other choice but to have our meetings in utmost secrecy. But it wasn't just enough. Our hearts kept longing for more, and so we became lovers. Wait, Jacob or his wife? And you... Now, I don't know, but thank you all for watching. I'm Devious Toaster. This has been Lethe. And we're going to keep moving on because we got captured. We're still stuck in here. And all I want to do is get to the surface, you hear me? I want to get to the damn surface! Clickety, clickety, clackety, clickety. Oh, good food. Can I have some food? I want that great spaghetti. It scares me every time. Okay. Is that necessary? Let's try to burn that, please. Burning ass smell. It's disgusting. Yeah, I thought it would turn you on. Well, good. Poo bucket. I really appreciate that. Looks delicious. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure this out in a second. Just damn boxes. Well, what the fuck? 